All right, I'm gonna be doing a leak down test on this 95 CR250. This motor has maybe five hours on it since a full rebuild, and it was running great. All of a sudden, it's sputtering pretty bad. No matter what I do to try to adjust the jetting, will not fix it or you know, barely change how it's riding. I even tried completely different carburetors in this case. So then I knew it was you know some sort of issue. And again, it's a full rebuild, all new gaskets and seals. So. I knew something was going on. This this is the best way to diagnose uh, your motor or just to check the overall health of it, especially on a two-stroke. So what a leak down test does is pressurizes your crankcase and looks for any leaks. It should be basically airtight. What you're looking for is you only put five PSI in there. You don't want to really go any higher. And what you're looking for is how quick the air will run out or drop. So you don't want it to go you don't want to drop more than one PSI over two minutes. Um, in this case, I would fill it up and you would just see the needle drop pretty quick. So I knew there was an air leak here. So this leak down test kit I bought on eBay. And I think it was like $45. It's just a couple, you can make this at home, obviously. It's just a couple PVC fittings that fit in here. Uh, engine 7 eighths expansion plug on the exhaust. And... Uh, in this case, I had an air leak. This motor only has like five hours on it from a full rebuild. The power valve shaft on here, which runs from your power valve area down to the crankcase, I didn't assemble it with molybdenum grease. It's a, it says to in the manual. I just assembled it with regular grease. I guess that doesn't last long. I guess it gets hot and runs out. And then you develop an air leak into your crankcase area. So this leak down test kit helped me find that. Um, I assembled it with the molybdenum grease, put it all back together, hooked this up, and then we have no air leak at all. I think I put in five PSI and it stayed in there for like 30 minutes. It didn't drop at all. So this motor is good. I will show you on my new 96 that I picked up. I'll show you later. This one also has an air leak, but... Um, so I will show you what the issue there was. So real quick, if you have this style motor, just make sure you assemble it with a grease that says it has molly in it. Okay, so what I did here was I lowered the amount of pressure that could come out of this. I think it's, I wanna leave it around like five or 10. You can adjust it on mine. Just to be safe, you don't wanna add any more than five. Uh, I don't know what you could damage. I guess you could damage um, any of the seals or something like that. But what I'll show you, I'm going to put about 5 PSI in here. Try to do it one hand. 5. And again, this motor is good. So you would see it dropping right away if there was a leak, most likely. But I would just set my timer and, uh, you know, put it on for like a minute or two and record what the drop was. Now in my case, what you would do to look for the leak is you get a, a bottle of soapy water. First test all your fittings, make sure it's not leaking from your leak down test kit. So spray around the, the rim of the exhaust and intake clamp that you have over here. Um, first place to look, which is really common, is your reed cage. Look for air leaks over here. Pull this cover off and I suggest you pull the flywheel off. I'll show you on the other bike but there's the seal for the crankcase. Those go bad. Now that we have the uh, um, additives in the gas, it uh, kind of wears away the rubber, dries them out. So your seals could go bad. There's another crank seal on this side, but you should pull this whole cover off. If, I mean, test all these places first before you pull this off. Test your base gasket here. Over here is, is another problem area on these. You definitely want to check all your gasket surfaces on your top end here as well as another sealed surface but check all that even check your your bottom end gasket spray all that stuff before pulling the side cover off anywhere there's a gasket on here where it's connected to your crankcase is something that you want to check for air bubbles when you spray the soap on i'll show you what it looks like when you have a bad air leak on your left side crank seal on that 96. okay so see we didn't drop we didn't drop any yet so this motor is good to go. It's going back in the bike. 
speed that so I don't damage anything. Anyway, uh, since I know it's over here, we'll spray some of this on around the seal. These seals go bad. Um, there's another crank seal on the other side, but I'll try to do this one hand, put some pressure in here. See, it won't even go up, but look at, well, it's supposed to be bubbling up, but yeah, it's just blowing right by, so yeah. And it just drops. So we got a bad crank seal. That's what it looks like. We'll fix it. It won't run good like that. You'll be thinking the carburetor has issues constantly and it's not that it's it's an air leak so is it all right so here i'm going to drill out the crank seal um i'm going to drill just enough so that i could get this screw head through there and as soon as i feel that this is going to get through i think there's a metal there's metal behind or inside the seal you want to make sure you don't really get as that many shavings on the other side of it and have it fall into your bearing. So I would vacuum this stuff out. Uh, so see here, I could just get the screw inside and this is only just to get a grab on it. There are probably some other ways to pull the seal out, but this is just what I thought was maybe the easiest. So yeah, I'm just going to get started by hand. These are self tapping like wood screws. Uh, you could probably use plenty of other types but I'm going to go in just enough to where I feel it's going to grab good and this is again just a way to pull the seal out I guess like a blind puller almost all right so I'm just going to go carefully and try not to mark or scratch this this crankshaft and I'm going to pull a little bit on side. each side I don't want to rip the screw through this seal but you can see it's coming out already pretty easy there it goes, goes. alright so I'm gonna vacuum this out make sure there's no shavings that got on this side you know or into the crankcase because then you have your bearing back there make sure I didn't scratch this shaft because then you could get an air leak if this shaft is all scratched up and yeah look at that that is a bad seal you could see the the spring wore through the rubber that's not from the screw that's just from all the use I, I think the ethanol that's in the gas dries these out or just a lot of hours on this thing but yeah that's where the air was blown by right there